Okay, now let us see the maths, the rules of integers. These ones, I think they are basics that we are going to use for it. So, it's, we are summarizing our topic today after seeing a lot of things there. Let, we, let plus be a positive and minus be a negative. So, we are going to see what happens if you are doing algebra of the signs. So positive times a positive, we get a negative. A positive times a negative, we get a negative. A negative times a positive, we get a negative. The negative times a negative, we get a positive. Then a positive divided by a positive, we get a positive. A positive divided by a negative, we get a negative. A negative divided by a positive, we get a positive. The negative divided by a negative, we get a positive. Let us also see the divisibility test. A number is divisible by number one, two, if the last digit is an even number. I see for us that if the last digit is an even number, the number is divisible by two. Comma, divisible by three, if the sum of the digits give a multiple of three. So, when you start, you have a digit, say, one, one, say, if you have a digit, one, one, one. If when you add all these numbers, I mean all these digits, and what you get is the amount of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. As simple as that. So when you add these ones, you get 3. So this is a multiple of 3. So meaning this number is divisible by. Then if we have 5, 1, 2. Oh, 5, 1, 3. Yeah, 5, 1, 3. When I add this, I get 9. 9 is a multiple of 3, so it means that this number is divisible by 3. So that's the item there. Okay, from here now we come to 4. A, a number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are multiples of 4. For example, when you have 1, 1, 2, the last two digits are multiples of 4. This number is divisible by 4. 5 is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or a 5. That is obvious. 6 if the last digit is uneven and the sum of the digits give a multiple of 3. Is divisible by 8 if the last three digits form a number divisible by 8. 9 if the sum of the digits give a number that's a multiple of 9 and divisible by 10 if the last digit is a 0. Okay, let us see our fifth of integration that is summarizing our topic. Okay, your father constructed a room of dimensions 80 meters by 60 meters. He wants to put square tiles on the floor without any excess. So he want exact number. As a senior and mathematics student, comma, find the dimensions. Find the dimensions. Of the square tiles, the father should be. This is of the dimensions of. This is of. So find the dimensions of the square tiles your father should use. So they want you to get those square tiles your father is going to use. How many tiles your father needs? Just enough for the room. So you need to get the number that your father needs. If each time costs shillings, 3,000, how much money should your father give you to purchase the tiles? After knowing the number, then you need to you know the price for it. So you tell your father that I need this amount. Compared to the size of each tile, in addition to durability and the price. So, this is going to be our fifth of integration that we are going to handle. Yeah, this chapter I'm going to give three activities of integration. So prepare. When I give you this, after this we are going to handle another one. So we are going to do it now. And so please you can organize yourselves. So we have come to this chapter. We are going to do the first activity today. Then tomorrow, I morning we do one. Then also next week we shall do another one about working with integers. So, we do now, then we revise for the other two. So that's it. We can prepare now. So, 
please don't forget to subscribe the channel always you can always see if you want all the work you just go to playlists you swipe towards the right then you see their playlist then you can choose any topic you want so these ones are going to be now under new curriculum working with integers so that's where you can find this that's it i wish you well